To balance this equation, iron 3 carbonate plus hydrochloric acid, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have two irons and this 3, it applies to everything here, so we have 1 times the 3, 3 carbons, 3 times the 3, 9 oxygens, 1 hydrogen, and then 1 chlorine. On the product side, we have the 1 iron, carbons we have 1, oxygens we have 2, plus there's an oxygen here in the water, so we have to count that with 3 two hydrogens, and three chlorines. Let's fix the irons first. We have two here and one here. We'll put a coefficient of two in front of the iron three chloride. So one times two, that'll give us two iron atoms. They're balanced. Three times two, that gives us six chlorines. Let's just fix the chlorines here. We put a coefficient of six in front of the HCl, one times six. So that balances the chlorine atoms. And then the hydrogen, one times six, we have six hydrogens. Might as well balance the hydrogens here. We have six here and two here. If we put a coefficient of three in front of the H2O, two times three, that gives us six. Those are balanced. Then we need to update the oxygen atoms. We have the two here in the carbon dioxide, plus we have the one times the three, three of those. So that gives us five oxygens. At this point, I'd say let's fix the carbons and see if that fixes the oxygens. So we have three here and one here. We put a coefficient of three, one times three. That'll give us three, and let's update the oxygens. So we have our two times three, that's six, plus one times three, and that gives us nine, and we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe2CO33 plus HCl. Thanks for watching.